Is that really a sergeant, Captain? Sure is. <laughs> Say, Sarge, are all the privates shorter than you? Them Yankees sure must be scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Why are they sending new babies up here to fight us, Yank? Reckon their men are scared to come. <laughs> Trooper, this soldier is my prisoner. I found no reason to doubt his courage. Now, from Walt Disney's wonderful world of color, part two of Johnny Shiloh. Like all wars, the war between the states had its many little-known heroes. And this week, we bring you the conclusion of our true story about one of the littlest of the little-knowns, 11-year-old Johnny Clem, whose heroism earned him the name of Johnny Shiloh. Johnny Shiloh! Johnny Shiloh! The youngest, bravest Yankee drummer boy. Johnny Clem was the name of a lad not in his teens when the war between the states had begun. But the name Johnny won with his drum and his gun will live in history. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh. Johnny trained with the men of the town where he was born, and he marched into battle unafraid. When they all yelled, retreat, he just stood on his feet and played and played and played. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh, Ran off to be in Mr. Lincoln's army. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh, the youngest, bravest Yankee drummer boy. Did we win? No, they licked us pretty bad. That old blood and whiskers will get them tomorrow. I didn't run, Gabe. I know that, Johnny. Johnny Shiloh! Johnny Shiloh! <laughs> Men, 
Pressure attack forward! Excuse me, sir. Colonel? Are you all right, sir? Well as can be expected. I'm sorry. About shooting, I mean. Oh, so you're the boy who shot me, huh? Yes, sir. Well, as a soldier, you were just doing your duty. Thank you, sir. I didn't want to shoot you, but you were after my buddy Gabe. We're at war, son. I know, sir. I'm grateful you're not a better shot. What will they do with you now? Oh, send me up north, I suppose, to one of them prisoner of war camps. Unless, of course, I can escape. Would you really try to escape? Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape when he's captured. But you're going to lose the war, sir. We won the battle today. Well, we didn't retreat. We were just battling back to Chattanooga to get a fresh start. Oh. Well, thank you for coming by to see me, boy. Night, sir. Colonel? Yes, boy? I hope I'm not the Yank that catches you trying to escape, sir. Now the general wants to see you. Uh-huh. The general? Yep. What did I do wrong? Got no idea. You suppose he's mad because I shot that colonel? Don't be silly now. Come on. Well, I don't know, Gabe. Officers stick pretty close together. Will you just quit trying out, think the general, and hurry up before I grab you by the scruff of the neck and drag you? Yes, sir. Come on. Sergeant Trotter reporting to General Thomas. Former boy Clem reporting. I'll tell the general. Hey, Gabe. Hmm? What do you think our chances are of breaking out of Chattanooga? I don't know, Johnny. But we can starve before old Pap Thomas will surrender. Get that collar down the back. Come on. Hut in. Hut. Rest. Are these the men, General? Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, General Grant, sir. Yes, Meyer? I'm sorry, sir. About what? Whatever it was I did wrong, sir. Son, you have to be here because of something you did right. Oh, yes, sir. Sergeant Trotter, step forward. On the recommendation of your commanding officer, General Thomas, for bravery in the field under enemy fire, you are promoted to the rank of second lieutenant and attached to General Thomas' staff as a scout. Congratulations, lieutenant. Thank you, sir. John Lincoln Clem, step forward. You are helping to save the life of your sergeant at the risk of your own. You are promoted to the rank of sergeant, attached to General Thomas' staff, as a messenger. Congratulations, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Something wrong, son? Speak up, Sergeant. Well, is that all you're going to make me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect to be made a general, boy? Oh, no, not yet, sir. 
<laughs> but I sure would like to be, if it's not too much trouble, sir. You mean you've never been sworn into the regular army? Oh, no, sir. Raise your right hand, Johnny. John Lincoln Clem. Do you swear your allegiance to the United States of America? Yes, sir. You are then duly mustered into the Union Army with the rank of sergeant. Thank you, sir. And I promise I'll never let you down, sir. Uh, just one piece of advice, son. Don't get in the habit of shooting officers. Oh, no, sir. Dismissed. Well, gentlemen, we better be. Yeah, we are in <laughs> What's taking you so long, Gabe? Now, wait a minute. I'm a blacksmith, not a seamstress. That's good. Ow! See what you made me do? Now, that's good enough for you here. Boy, you sure in a bad mood today. Well, what's there to be so happy about? Reb's got Chattanooga surrounded. Here we are, sitting in the middle of it. Grant and Thomas will get us out of this mess. Don't you be so sure about that. How do I look? Like a small sergeant. Oh, dear. Three cheers for Johnny Shiloh. Will you handle this for us, Lieutenant? I thought you. All right. Uh, Johnny, uh, Sergeant. The men out of your old outfit, the Blue Raiders, uh, sing awful, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they want to. They want you to know they're real proud of you, and that they're uh, they're all gonna miss you. And they got this for you. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, here, that's for you. Go on. Open it up, Johnny. Look inside. Open it. Yeah, come on, Johnny. A gold watch. Speech. Give us a speech, Johnny. Yeah, Give us a speech, speech, Johnny. I never had a watch before. Look inside the case. Read it to us. Come on, you forget how to read or something? Johnny Shiloh from the Blue Raiders. <laughs> General Thomas wants you and Sergeant Clem to report at once, sir. Thanks, soldier. Go on. Come on, John. Button up. Thank you. Go on. for these men. Yes, sir. Captain. Yes, sir. Ride back to General Granger and tell him to probe the weakest point in the Confederate line on his left, as if he were going to attack. Then withdraw and stand firm until I receive further orders from General Grant. Dismissed. Lieutenant. Sir. Do you know where General Steedman's headquarters are? Yes, sir. Sergeant? Yes, sir. I want you to ride with the lieutenant and deliver a message to General Steedman. It's important that you get through. So if you're attacked by enemy patrols or pickets, the lieutenant will stand and fight, but you keep riding. That's an order. Yes, sir. Now listen carefully. Yes, sir. Because of our position, this message can't be written down, so you've got to remember it word for word. Yes, sir. Now repeat this after me. Tell General Steedman that I'm going to lead my troops up the center tonight. General Thomas is going to lead his troops up the center tonight. Button! Hut. Carry on, men. You sure you can remember all that? Yes, sir. The reason I'm sending you is I believe with your devotion to duty, you have the best chance of getting through. We'll get through, sir. If you're captured, give the enemy no information other than your name and rank. Yes, sir. Remember, Lieutenant, 
It's your job to see the message gets through regardless of the risk to you. Yes, sir. Good luck, men. Thank you, sir. What are you going to name him, John? Uh, think the president would mind if I call him Mr. Lincoln? <laughs> uh, I guess the president's got more important things to think about than that. Come on, Mr. Lincoln. true they they sneaked out general grant last night we're all getting ready to surrender where'd you hear that soldier that's what a fella told me this morning you must have been talking to a reb what do you mean by that sir you know who you got over here in your right flank soldier who sir oh pap thomas the rock of chickamauga that's who we might all die here but we ain't gonna surrender as long as he's in command i've got to get general Stevens' reply back to old pap thomas ready gabe Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant. You remember all the message, Sergeant? Sure I do, Gabe. Lieutenant! Oh, Lieutenant, sir. <laughs> Sergeant? <laughs> Let me go! Look at the prize we captured, Captain. You put me down, you big ox! Put him down. Why, you little wildcat, you? Put me you. down! <laughs> Don't hurt that boy. I'm a sergeant, sir. Then conduct yourself like a sergeant. Yes, sir. Put him up behind me. All your life. Sergeant, Captain? Sure is. <laughs> Say, Sarge, are all the privates shorter than you? Them Yankees sure must be scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Why are they sending new babies up here to fight us, Yank? Reckon their men are scared to come. <laughs> Trooper, this soldier is my prisoner. I found no reason to doubt his courage. Yes, sir. Is the general in? He's eating, and I'm sure he don't want to be bothered. I can hear you all the way in here, Stark. Come in and stop wasting time. I guess you've heard of fighting Joe Wheeler. Yes, sir. Then mind your manners when you meet him, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Captain! How long are you going to keep me waiting? Stark, let's get one thing straight. When you want to see me, come in and talk to me. Never mind this upon the general's permit. Yes, sir. What's that? Prize of war, sir. A Yankee sergeant. Is this some kind of joke, Captain? 
No, sir. I lost a man from my patrol and taken him. Oh. What's your name, son? Sergeant John Lincoln Clem, sir. Young man, don't you know it's dangerous to ride around the countryside playing soldier? I wasn't playing, sir. You should be in school with other children your age. But I'm a regular, sir. A regular? Yes, sir. What's your outfit, son? The Blue Raider, sir. You mean you're their mascot? No, sir. I don't believe you, son. I've been in battle, sir. Where? Shiloh, Perryville, Stones River, Chickamauga. Shiloh was over a year ago. I can prove it, sir. Johnny Shiloh from the Blue Raiders. Are you the drummer boy of Shiloh? Yes, sir. Orderly. Sit down. Sergeant, how many troops do we have under siege outside Chattanooga? Excuse me, sir, but as a prisoner, I only have to give you my name and rank, sir. I guess you are a regular soldier after all. Thank you, sir. Help yourself. I'll keep this until we decide what to do with you. But, sir. Oh, it's better that way. Soldiers on both sides have a bad habit of collecting souvenirs. This way, you're sure of getting the watch back. Private Jones reporting, sir. Private, this is Johnny Clem, a sergeant in the Union Army and our prisoner. I place him under your care. Yes, sir. Now, Sergeant, remember you're a prisoner of war. Because of your age, you'll be treated like every other soldier in camp while you're here. But I must warn you, don't try to escape. Before you're sent to a prisoner of war camp, remember to come by and pick up your watch. Dismissed. Because I ain't never seen a Yankee this close before. Well, take a good look. You must be a pretty dumb soldier. Why? Letting yourself get caught. I'd let the Yankees kill me before I let them catch me and put me in any old prison. Would you quit pointing that rifle at me? It might go off. Any more funny moves from you, and it just might. Do you hate me? I don't like no Yankee. My best friend was caught by you, Yanks. Yeah, well, my best friend was just killed by your cavalry. Come on, you got chores to do. <laughs> sure's a good looking horse. All southern horses are good. Which is about the fastest horse here? <laughs> Don't go getting no ideas, Yank. About what? About what? Escaping. You heard plain enough what the general said. Can I have a rest now? Sure. I had a swole horse before I got caught. What happened to him? We got separated. What was he called? Uh, you just get mad if I told you. Why don't you try me? Uh, let's just say I didn't call him Jefferson Davis. Lincoln? Mr. Lincoln. I sure don't know what you Yankees see in him. He's trying to save the Union, Reb. The only man that could save this country is Jeff Davis. He isn't going to get the chance. Jeff Davis is running the whole Confederacy. And that's why you're going to lose. Tell that to them three armies we got trapped in Chattanooga. They'll break out all right. Sure, with a white flag in their hand. Get back to work. What you can't say is your food's better than ours. 
Well, I can say that being a prisoner is a lot harder work than being a soldier. You sure didn't think you were a guest in this camp. Well, if I did, you sure changed my mind for me. You know who that is? Looks like some general to me. Some general? That's General Longstreet and his staff. So what? General Longstreet has about the best cavalry in the whole army. We've been waiting for him. And where are they coming from? Virginia. Sent by the greatest general of them all, Robert E. Lee. Wait till he meets old blood and whiskers. Who? General Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> the only time Grant will meet General Longstreet is when he's ready to give up his sword. I hate the crow, Yang, but now we're ready to move on Chattanooga. Well, good night, Rep. Night, Yang. taking a walk. Want to take a walk? Walk right back to your tent. Everybody told me no Yankee could be trusted. Now I believe them. A southern colonel told me that any soldier worth his salt tries to escape. Well, I'm going to make sure you don't try again. Now get into that tent and give me your clothes. What? Get. You heard me, Yankee. Give me your shoe. Your shirt and your pants, too. Come in. Sure. Morning. Boy, am I mad. What's the matter? I never thought a southern soldier would stoop to such a low-down Yankee trick. Like what? Last night I dozed off for a bit. And somebody played a trick on you? They sure did. Soldiers are always playing tricks. What was it? They swiped your clothes. What? Wouldn't that make you mad? It sure does. I've been looking all over the place for him. So what am I going to do now? I'll look and see if I can find some others. I want my own uniform back. Well, then go find it yourself. All right, I will. Well, I can't go out there like this. Take your choice. Boy. Sorry, Yank. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You sure are a dumb guard. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Boy, if the general ever catches you with that razor, he's going to strop you good. First chance I ever had to shave, and I'm going to take it. Watch that door, will Attention! The general! Wait, get 
Aren't you Johnny Shiloh? Yes, sir. What are you doing in that uniform? Well, excuse me for saying so, sir. But some ornery crook in your outfit stole my uniform. I'm sorry. Who was guarding it? I was, sir. But it wasn't his fault, sir. Well, you can be grateful that I was guarding your watch. Keeps good time, too. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. <laughs> Orderly. Yes, sir. Here, return it when you're finished. Yes, sir. much, but that's the best I could do. Where have you been so long? Went to mail call. Got a letter. You sure left me alone a long time. I figured you weren't going nowhere in that get up. Yeah, I guess not. How do they feel? I gotta take two steps to move one foot. <laughs> At least he ain't tight. Who's the letter from? Home. You want to read it? Nah, it's your letter. Yeah, but this way it might make you feel like you got one, too. Ain't much of a letter. Guess with all the men gone, there ain't much to write about. <laughs> Something wrong? Did you read the whole letter, Billy? I don't know how to read, Yank. It's from your mother. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you in good health. Everything here is about the same as when I last wrote you. We all pray to the Almighty that the war will soon be over and the men will be coming home to their loved ones. We just got word about Tommy Delman. That's my best friend. Tommy passed away in a prison camp up north, and the Yankees are shipping his body home. Tommy? Are you sure? That's what the letter says, Billy. Take good care of yourself, son, and... No. Don't read no more now. I'm sorry, Billy. Johnny, would you please go to your tent for a bit? I, ca I gotta be alone. Sure, Billy. If your world was standing still, standing still pictures would be all you'd need. But if ever a world was moving, it's this one. So get with the world. Take moving pictures. Movies give you all the action, all the excitement of a moving world. And a Kodak Instamatic M12 movie camera gives you movies easier than anything. It's small enough to go anywhere. And it loads in a flash, no threading, no winding. You won't miss a thing. Kodak Instamatic cameras start at less than $30. Wait till you see the movies. Big, colorful Super 8 movies. Even your first roll looks great. In a world that just won't stop, don't be left with standing still memories. Get a Kodak Instamatic movie camera and save it like it is.
and made him to the soil. Fighting for the property we gained by honest toil. And when our rights were threatened, the cry rose near and far. Hurrah for the mighty good flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah. Hurrah for the mighty good flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah. Hurrah for the mighty good flag that bears a single star. Hey, Yank, how about singing us one of your songs? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Yank. Give us a song. Yeah, let's hear one. Hey, fellas, I got an idea. Let's all sing a song for the Yankees. All right. You pick it. Yeah, I know. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. We'll get the party well. All right, man, break it up. The fun's over. What is it, Sarge? Get your gear packed. Move. What's going on, Sarge? We're moving up to Chattanooga in the morning. Yeah! <laughs> Billy. Bye, little Yankee. Lots of luck. Thanks. Yes, sir. Billy, have the Yankee. Yes, sir. Does he have to, Sarge? There's nothing I can do about it, Billy. What do you say? You got to get your gear packed, too. Well, I got nothing to pack. I know. What do you suppose they'll do with me? Send you south, I reckon. To a prison? You're a prisoner, ain't you? Like your friend Tommy? You scared? I wish you didn't have to go. Are all the stories you hear true? Like what? That they beat you? Feed you a lot of slop and keep you in dirty old self with a bunch of rats. Maybe it's not as bad in southern prisons. Maybe it's worse. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I better get to bed. Johnny, you gotta promise me something. You won't die too. I'll sure try not to. And write me. Maybe I can help. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Billy. Good luck. Thanks. Must be a pretty dumb soldier. Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape. 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 Escape.
I didn't go on one of them prisons. I can't let you get away, Yank. These trophies belong to one man, a champion golf dealer, Speedy Dalton. When Speedy promises to get to your car within 10 seconds after you pull in, nothing can stop him. Nothing. Fill her up. Let's see that again on instant replay. Notice the quick reflexes. The long strides. The great balance. The determination of a great champion. Not every golf dealer is a speedy Dalton, but they all try to greet you within 10 seconds after you pull in. Stop in and let us prove it. up this rep coming through our line. Claims he's a union sergeant, a messenger for General Thomas. Hi, Sam. That ain't no rep. That's Johnny Shiloh. Hey, the general's been real worried about you. Yeah? How'd you get away from those reps? I just sort of snuck away. We knew Longstreet had left Virginia, but we didn't know exactly where he was headed. Sir, may I venture an opinion? Of course. This move of Longstreet's means that Lee... Exactly. Lee hoped they could defeat us here at Chattanooga. Then have Longstreet, Wheeler, and Hood join him and attack Gettysburg. Now, Captain Hall reporting, sir. Send him in. If Longstreet and Wheeler should mount their offensive at this point. Message from General Hooker, sir. What is it, Captain? General Hooker and General Smith have managed to join forces and break the encirclement. Good. General Smith is holding, sir. General Hooker is advancing on the enemy. Advise General Hooker to advance until further orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. You've done a good job. Yes, sir. Dismissed. <laughs> Chan, you're high good. You know that? What for? Because I thought you was dead and I felt awful. Oh, I'm sorry. I never thought you'd run off and join the Rebs, though. Well, I didn't, Anna. Then what are you doing in that ragtag outfit, huh? huh? Johnny Shiloh! Johnny! Hey, hey, Johnny! Johnny! How'd you get away? Hey, 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 hey,
Here, Jack. He came for you while he was away. Who's his friend? Some ladies in Chicago. They seen your picture in the paper. Himself. Just proves he's smarter than I am. <laughs> sure does. In just one minute, we'll see a few scenes from our next show. Now RCA brings you Entertainment on the Move. The pick of the portables, new for 68. Choose America's most popular color TV, like RCA's 14-inch diagonal color portables. Big picture quality at popular prices. Black and white portables, too. Choose RCA's Featherweight, the nimble at only $99.95. Or the jaunty, plays on AC or batteries, take it anywhere. And portable radios, the Weekender, and FMAM travel clock radio. And this rugged FMAM portable, the Sebring. RCA brings you entertainment on the move. And to keep you on the move, many RCA dealers will give you this Rand McNally Road Atlas. Great for weekend and vacation travel. It's a $1 value, free, just for looking and listening at your RCA dealers now. is entitled, The Not-So-Lonely Lighthouse Keeper. And the reason this old salt isn't lonely makes a fascinating tale of friendship between a man and his island of animals. Peg Leg Haskell and his wife prefer the beauty and solitude of the Channel Islands off California's coast, where the supermarket is the sea and the only crowd in the neighborhood is the seals. Next door are the frisky goats. Upstairs are the sailboats of the sky. All is well until the keeper's told that he must leave this paradise to be replaced by an automatic light. So it's his friends to his defense. The friendly animals of the Channel Islands are a very entertaining group. And that's why the lighthouse keeper isn't lonely. 
Join us for The Not-So-Lonely Lighthouse Keeper on Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. Hey, what a great idea, putting Walt Disney's favorite characters on placemats. Professor Ludwig von Drake, and there's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Pinocchio, and Pluto, and Tinkerbell, too, right on the placemat. Great for kids. And look at this. Turn them over, and they're pretty great-looking placemats for adults, too, made of washable plastic. Gulf is offering a set of eight different Walt Disney famous character placemats. One every week for eight weeks while the supply lasts. Fifteen cents each with a fill-up at any Gulf station where you see this sign. Walt Disney's wonderful world of color has been brought to you by... Gulf Oil Corporation. There's a lot more to golf's extra kick than horseshoes. Let us prove it. Disney's Family Band, coming to a theater near you.